springtime is here, ladies. Yes, honey. Ah, oh, the flowers are blooming. The fragrance is in the air. Love is in your face. Honey, it is spring over here. <laughs> Hello, my messieurs and my mademoiselles. Welcome to the Red Lips Black Dress Experience. I am your hostess, your vintage queen, your spring pinup doll, Madame Shari. Honey, girl, I am a seasonal kind of girl, so when winter is over with, it is over. When spring comes in, I am ready for the spring. So I thought I'd bring you a banging spring look today. It is a little difficult to do, but I know that after watching this tutorial, you will be able to achieve this look. I did a cut crease for you ladies to show you how to do that. As you can see, we are playing with a lot of colors here. So on this tutorial, you will have to pay attention, but honey, you'll be just fine because Madame Shari is going to teach you everything you need to know. <laughs> Don't forget to look me up on redlipsblackdress.com for all of your vintage fashion needs. I have uploaded a lot of spring wear and summer wear. I know you will be happy with the product. Also, make sure you go under my special features category to check out all my lip products. They're waiting for you, honey. You need them in your life because yes, they are the bomb. <laughs> if you want to learn how to achieve this beautiful cut crease eyeshadow, then honey, you better cut off the TV and cut in line. Okay, ladies, as you can clearly see, I already have on my foundation, I have on concealer, my eyebrows, I even have this eye done for you already. So this look is going to be pretty intricate, but with a lot of practice, I know you can do it. So let's dive right on into it. Okay, first what you want to do is take your concealer, the concealer that you use to shapen up your eyebrows, and I have some on the back of my hand already and you just want to clean up your eyebrows and then bring it down. So I'm going to do this. And I'm using the NC42 uh, Pro Longwear Concealer by MAC. And this is gonna act as my highlight. And you just wanna bring it down, all the way down, because you wanna use this as your base. you're gonna use all of it on your entire eye and I like this concealer because it dries really quickly and it's gonna give you that coverage that you're gonna need um, I would highly suggest that the concealer that you use is the, con the same color that you always clean up your eyebrows with and this is acting as our base I'm just using a concealer brush to achieve this look. I wanted to bring you all a fierce spring look, honey. So when you're going out on your dates to the park because the, the flowers are blooming and ah, it smells great outside, you can give the world this banging look. <laughs> So I thought I'd bring you something real intricate that you'll definitely have to take your time with, but I know you can do it. Okay, next I'm gonna take uh, this brush by Morphe, Morphe, excuse me. It's the M173. 
and it's it looks like this and I just use this to kind of pet the concealer into my skin it's gonna dry anyway but I use this to do that with to blend this out to blend it into the foundation and again this upper portion under the eyebrow the eyebrow bone area this is going to act as your highlight so I'm doing this because I don't want any creases and I'm helping it dry by doing that and you just want to pat pat it right on in and you're building your foundation this is your canvas so you're just setting your canvas for this masterpiece work and artistry that you're getting ready to do so think of yourself as Picasso or Picasso. <laughs> Makeup is fun. It's an art. It's, it's, it's amazing. I love playing in makeup. I really do. But it's so funny because I only wear makeup once out of the week. If that. <laughs> all right, now you're all set. Next, I'm going to take my Urban Decay Heat Palette and I am going to open it, of course, and I am going to play with these darker browns. So you want to use a transition color. Usually a transition color is a color that is your complexion or slightly darker. So I think I'm going to go ahead and go in with this one. And you want to take a fluffy blending brush and you want to start building your cut crease. Um, you have to take your time doing this because, you know, cut creases can be challenging, but you can get it if you take your time and practice. So we're going to go in with that color and that color is cayenne. And I'm going to dip in there and then I'm going to start my color up here. And I'm gonna bring it on down and you don't worry about it being sloppy in this area because we're getting ready when we do our cut crease we're getting ready to wipe all of that away anyway and I'm gonna take this I'm gonna take this color fairly high not not you know covering up the highlight but I am gonna bring it up because you need room to you know set your canvas and do your work and I have a lot of eye space so I can afford to do this if your eyes are a little um, smaller uh, you you'll know how to judge how far to go up and I just want to bring this in bring it up remember it can be sloppy all this down here doesn't matter you're just right now building and you want to blend this top part in because this is our transition. You want to blend that in, make sure you get a nice blend. As you can see, my highlight is, is out there, honey. But you can see the transition and the difference. So just blend that in, take your time, especially around these areas you want to you definitely want to be careful because you're again blending okay so right now you have your transition color next you want to take a darker brown that's how you get a smoky eye or a smoky effect you take a darker brown so I'm going to take this color here and that color is ashes I'm going to take a more precise brush and you're gonna bring your brush down. You're not gonna sit it up as high as you did your transition color. You're gonna bring it down. So I'm gonna start this darker brown where my crease starts to cut because that's where I'm gonna cut my eye into that cut crease shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and start right here and I'm just going to put a dark, bold, almost rainbow-like. As you can see, it's getting lighter than darker. And again, don't worry about your lid and the colors that go on your lid because you're getting ready to wipe that all away. But I want to make this part dark as possible 
because that's where our cut crease is going to come in. Bring this all the way around. I'm gonna bring this up just a little bit so it can bleed off into the smoky part of it. And I am just gonna make a bold, almost rainbow shape, upside down U as much as possible. Don't be afraid to do this. If you mess up, start over and try again. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my fluffy blending brush and blend the two colors in. You still have to blend. And sometimes it's okay to put more of your transition color on top of the darker chocolate. And you wanna work that till you've blended it. Okay, and then I am, again, gonna go back in and make this a deep, make it deep again it blended in a little too much <laughs> this almost looked like a smoky eye and we're doing a smoky but we're not doing a smoky eye today or a, just a full-out brown smoky eye I'm just setting this up for the cut crease okay now you should have your transition color and your darker color so, the difficult part, let's begin our cut crease. Okay, ladies, you can take your concealer that you used up here, or um, what I use is the P. Louise base, her cosmetic base. I love this. This is in number three. I already put some on the back of my hand. And you wanna take your concealer brush, Actually, um, there are brushes that are dedicated to cut creases. Uh, I couldn't find my brush. I'm going to have to buy another one. <laughs> I misplaced it because I've got so much makeup and so much of everything. So <laughs> you want to take your time with this. Okay. Um, as you can see, I already have like a really big eyelid. So I'm going to go slightly above my, my eyelid to create this cut crease. So I'm gonna get very quiet on you and we're gonna create a U shape. So here we go.
okay? Now, if you have clients, you must tell them to be still and don't speak uh, because you're creating that U shape. So I'm gonna go back with my Morphe, Morphe brush, excuse me, and I am going to wipe away the product. And the reason why you wanna do that is because it is, it will dry, but you don't want it creasing on you and it will destroy your colors. Uh, usually, I take a Q-tip to get the tips. I may have to let these dry because uh, this portion dry a little bit. And I kind of, uh, some of it got up there just a little bit. So, but no, no worries, you don't panic. Um, all you have to do is just take your brush and just add a little more brown there. Yeah, there you go, that's all you gotta do. I uh, usually I would say let it dry, at least let it dry before you use your color again. And you just want to wipe away as much as that product as possible. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry for a second and I'll be right back. Okay, ladies, I'm ready to create these beautiful spring colors. I am taking the Jacqueline Hill Morphe palette. Love this palette. If you don't have her palette, please go pick it up. Uh, today we'll be using a few of the colors in this palette, but I am going to use these two. I'm going to mix these two together. Um, it's called Pool Party and Jada. So I'm going to mix these two together and I'm only going to put it in the inner portion of my eye. So you want to take your eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna kind of mix the two to give me a good color. And you wanna stay within the cut crease. You don't wanna go outside of it. Okay, and then with this blue, you don't wanna go up too far over because you know, you've got two other colors that you gotta play with. So you only want to bring it to about this point of your eye, just this point. I love this blue. When she created this one, she did a great job. I love them all really. I'm gonna put a little more blue on this side because I'm like, oh, this side's looking more turquoisey. Okay, so we're only putting the blue or the teal turquoise kind of color up into that point. Okay, now I'm gonna mix some two colors. I'm gonna put this color on right here. That one's called Cream Sickle. And then um, I'm gonna mix it with this color here um, to give us like a, almost a white gold color. So I'm gonna kind of wipe my brush off because that one is full of blue. And I'm gonna put the darker gold color down first. I still want to use this beautiful gold and you just want to blend it in these colors are so gorgeous I love them so beautiful I want to blend this in into that teal remember the name of the game is blending you have to blend you have to blend honey blend till you can't blend no more Okay, and then I'm gonna go into this lighter color to give me a little more life. I love the gold, but I wanna kinda put just a little lighter gold right up in there. Okay, and then I am going to take my beloved, I love uh, this purple color that they discontinued it, uh, but it was by Makeup Forever. And I'm almost running out of it. Oh, best purple of all time to me. And I believe the number was 92 or three. Best purple, highly pigmented. But I'm gonna use that and take more of a precise brush. And I'm just gonna put it on the outer portion. Still in that cut crease area. And I'm gonna pack this on because I just love the color so much. I'm kind of even going to enhance the cut crease by adding some of that purple. And I'm just going to pack this on. 
and bring it out just a little bit because I still want to, I'm gonna kind of bring it over a little bit to, to enhance that crease. But I kind of want to make this V shape. And I'm going to just pet that in because the color is so darn gorgeous and highly pigmented. With this color, you have to pat it in. But the more you pat it, the more, oh my goodness, the more it gives you that, that color payoff that I love so much. So beautiful. Okay. Then I'm going to take my uh, fluffy blending brush and I'm going to blend these colors in. You don't want to leave it there. You want to blend that in, honey. Blending is the name of the game. Blend, blend, blend. Let me even take it up higher because I just love this color so much. Oh, best purple of all time in my opinion. so beautiful oh it's so beautiful I just I'm just gonna go ahead and put on some more <laughs> so let's pack that in there I'm gonna bring it out some more and just bring it up a little more make this little area real deep okay and then I'm gonna blend it of course using my fluffy blending brush you want to blend that out honey oh so beautiful I love this color combination, it's just gorgeous. Okay, I am going to clean this up and then I'm gonna put on my lashes offline. So I'll be right back, don't you go anywhere. Okay ladies, as you can see, I put on my lashes. I cleaned up my eye by putting on some highlight and kind of cutting that area to make it more precise, more of a V shape. So we're all good to go. So let's finish up our eyes, okay? So we're gonna go back into our Urban Decay Heat Palette and we're going to go back into our transition color that we use and put it at the bottom of our eye. Take your fluffy blending brush and just put it across your eye. And y'all know I can't do this without my mouth open, so forgive your girl. <laughs> you got to get up under that eye girl okay this is a spring look so I'm not gonna make it too dark under my eyes although you could but we're gonna keep it springy okay I'm gonna go back into the chocolate color that we used at the top and I'm gonna take more of a, a very very sharp almost smudger brush you want to take something very precise and I'm only going to put that brown right up in here on the outer portion of the lower eye. I'm not going to bring it in all the way in. Just maybe right to the middle. Because again, I, I kind of want to keep this lighter. Usually when I wear this color, I'll put a black liner and, and put the, the green back under here, the gold and the purple. But I kind of do that for the fall to make it more dramatic for the spring this is already dramatic so let's just keep it light and you want to take your fluffy blending brush and just blend that in blend 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 because you want to get that smoky effect you want to have a good blend under your eye and then take your favorite mascara and mine is uh, l'oreal voluminous lash paradise so just take your favorite mascara, whatever that is, and just put your mascara on the lower lash line. Okay, we're almost done with this eye. The last thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna go into the palette, back into Jacqueline Hill's palette with Morphe. And I'm going to use this color right here. And this color is called um, Sissy. And I am going to actually enhance the cut crease. So I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to dip into that color. I'm going to put this on my inner portion of my eye or the inner portion of my eye. I'm going to drag it out a little bit and down. 
Then I'm gonna go back in and close my eye. I'm gonna get close into the mirror. But you wanna take this color and just go upward with it. To enhance your cut crease. I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush and kind of tone that down a little bit with the colors that I use. You don't have to put extra product on it because it already has a little product. But I'm just going to define that. Go right back in. Then again, if you've put too much or just take your fluffy blending brush with no product. Just kind of clean that up. And as you can see, I enhanced that cut crease with the silverish white color to give it more of a flare. Looking kind of beautiful. All right, ladies. So now you already have your foundation on. You have your highlight. Your eyes are beautiful. Now it's just time to um, contour and bronze. My favorite contour palette is Morphe. That's rich. Remember, when you contour, you want to always use a color that's a shade or two shades darker than your complexion. I'm going to use this color here as my contour. And then I'm going to use these two colors as my bronzing. Bronzing brings color back to your face. Uh, right now I look a little um, cake faced, a little ghosty. So I'm going to bring life back to uh, my face here. So let us go ahead and contour. Okay, ladies, now we're going to use our blush, put on our blush. I'm going to use Max Azalea Blossom. Huge, huge, huge hit with Mac. And I had to get in on it. And now I understand why. I mean, look at this. It goes from a light pink to a lavender purple. Ah, gorgeous. So we're going to apply this color and we're only going to put it on the apples of our cheek. You want to take your blush brush and I'm going to kind of mix the two colors and you want to smile so you can get those beautiful apples. I'm going to use a pink for this, this look. Wow, oh, so beautiful. I love this. Okay, next it's time to highlight. I am going to use Max Show Gold. Um, it says Show Gold and it looks gold, but when you put it on your face, it's pink. I don't know how they managed to do that, but they made it look gold, but when you put it on, it's pink. So we're gonna put our highlight on our cheekbone area, down our nose, the tip of our nose, on your cubic bow, and on your temple areas. So let's highlight.
Okay, and last but certainly not least, we need to put on our lipstick. So with this beautiful cut crease spring look, um, I think it's best that we use a pink color. So of course, ladies, I don't even use any other lip product because I've come out with my own lip products. So I am going to use today, I am going to use one of my beautiful, actually two of my beautiful colors off of my cosmetic line, but I'm going to use Brandy. Brandy is a nude pink. Oh, it is gorgeous for you deeper skin tones and even my, even my uh, fairer skin ladies, uh, my Caucasian ladies. It looks so rosy on you. Beautiful. And I'm going to mix it with my Bare Naked um, nude color. This color is a beigey nude. Um, I wanted to kind of make a lighter pink lip. I'm going to put this on first for you so you can see. This is Brandy and this is my nude pink. You'll see how pink it is. Just by doing this. So this is what Brandy would look like by itself, but our eyes are so bold. I wanted to soften the lip a little bit. So that's why I'm going to add Bare Naked to it to lighten the lip up a little bit. And voila, it gives you a light pink. I love this lip combination. I actually discovered it the other day and I was like, whoa, I love that. I think I'm gonna put a little lip liner with it. I usually don't, but why not? It's spring. So I'm just gonna take my NYX, <laughs> and this is in uh, Auburn, and I'm just gonna make it look nice. I'm, I'm just gonna use a lip liner. Let me sharpen my pencil, girl because it wasn't doing the trick. <laughs> you want to overline your lips anytime you line them. And I used a brown that wasn't too overwhelming because I don't want to make this too dark around the lip. I used a brown that was practically the same color as my complexion. So um, I love how this turned out. I am going to put a little gloss on. Um, this is also from my lip collection. This is Party Girl. It's a clear gloss and it has uh, glitter inside of it. So let's just gloss our lips a little bit take it to that next level you only want to put it in the center and then what I do is uh, I take my finger so it's not you know like gummy and all on your teeth and I just kind of put that back. Of course, you don't want to forget about spraying your face. So I'm obviously, my beloved, going to use my Mattifying Continuous Setting Mist by Morphe. And let's spray our face down so that we can set this beautiful look. Ladies, a cut crease, beautiful colors, and you can use any color you want, but this is how you achieve a cut crease. Okay, ladies, this is the finished product. I really hope you enjoyed this beautiful makeup tutorial. I love the way it turned out, and I hope you did too. 
If you end up trying this look, DM me on Instagram and I'd love to see how you did. My Instagram page is red.lips.black.dress.boutique. So just DM me and uh, I'd, I'd love to see how you did. <laughs> Don't forget to stay a few seconds longer for the look of the week. And don't forget to visit me on redlipsblackdress.com for all of your vintage fashion needs. Until we meet again, I am Madame Cherie. And I love you.